Amsum was exploring a peaceful open field near a science fair when something unusual happened. Huh? A strange shimmer passed through the air and tiny sparks of light wrapped around his hands. As Amsum lifted his hands, nearby metal objects slowly slid toward him and attached themselves to his fingers. <laughs> Miraculously, Almsum had gained magnetic hands. Excitement filled him as he began experimenting with this new power. He stretched out one hand and watched metal objects move closer in neat lines. With a simple turn of his wrist, he could release them, letting them fall softly back to the ground. Amsum learned to control the strength of the pull, making heavy objects move slowly and lighter ones dance playfully. Suddenly, huh? the ground trembled. From beyond the field, a loud metallic groan echoed through the air. A nearby cargo train had come to an abrupt stop due to a mechanical failure. One container tilted dangerously, threatening to slide off the train near a crowded area. Umsum rushed toward the tracks, focusing his attention on the unstable container. The weight was immense, and the metal strained against gravity. Umsum planted his feet firmly and raised both hands. His palms glowed faintly as he carefully applied a steady magnetic pull. The container slowed, hovering just enough to stop its fall. As the container stabilized, another problem emerged. A metal signal tower near the tracks began shaking due to the sudden movement and vibrations from the train. Without hesitation, Aumsum turned and extended one hand toward the tower while keeping the other focused on the container. With careful balance, he anchored both structures in place, preventing further movement. Aumsum slowly lowered his hands, letting the magnetic energy fade. The train stood safe and the crowd unharmed. The crowd cheered loudly for their hero, Aumsum. Hmm. One stormy afternoon, while experimenting with a strange meteorite, which Almsum had found near the mountains, a flash of lightning struck it, right as he touched it. There was a crackle, a fizz, and suddenly, Almsum felt light as a feather. He floated off the ground, his arms stretched wide. He wasn't just jumping, he was flying. At first it was fun, he zipped over rooftops, looped through trees, and even hovered above a rainbow. But when he returned to the ground, something wild had happened. Everyone else had started flying too. People were zooming in all directions, some upside down, others spinning like tops. The skies had become a playground of chaos. Soon, Amsum realized it wasn't just people. Cows floated over fences and cats chased birds in the clouds. The earth had become weightless. Gravity was losing its grip. But the strangest part, there was a swirling crack opening in the sky, and from it, shadowy flying creatures began to pour out. They weren't birds, huh? they weren't animals. They looked like flying shadows, and they were hunting the meteorite's energy. Amsum clutched the glowing rock, now pulsing in his pocket. He understood. The meteorite had triggered this madness. With a deep breath, he launched into the air, soaring higher than ever before. Amsum gripped the meteorite tightly and aimed for the center. With all his strength, he hurled the glowing rock into the heart of the crack. There was a blinding flash. The shadows shrieked and vanished. And just like that, gravity snapped back into place. Aumsum plummeted, but at the last second, a soft wind lifted him gently to the ground. Every flying object, cows, cats, and people, landed safely. The world cheered. Peace returned. Aumsum had not only flown, he had saved the planet from a sky invasion. Hmm. One morning, as Amsum rode to the grocery store, his car simply refused to stop. The brakes didn't work, and even when he turned off the engine, the car kept rolling forward as if it had a mind of its own. When he finally jumped out safely, the car kept going down the road, joining dozens of others that were zooming non-stop through the streets. All over the city, 
Vehicles refused to stop. Traffic lights meant nothing. Cars crashed through barriers, rolled over lawns and circled parking lots endlessly. Determined to solve this problem, Amsum hacked into a local radio station using his laptop and broadcasted a message asking people to send him videos and clues. Soon, he had dozens of recordings of moving vehicles. From them, he noticed a strange blue shimmer coming off the engines. Digging through old books and articles, Amsum found a theory written long ago by a forgotten inventor. It talked about a powerful magnet buried deep underground that, if activated, could affect motion. Amsum suspected it had somehow turned on. Using an old delivery van that never stopped, Amsum created a mobile lab in the back. He used ropes to hold himself in place while working on gadgets as the van sped through highways. He built a motion detector and followed the magnetic signal all the way to the mountains outside the city. There, hidden inside an abandoned cave, he found the ancient machine. It was pulsing with blue energy, creating a field that affected every wheel on Earth. Amsum climbed down carefully and jammed his homemade electromagnet into its control core. The field flickered, sparked, and finally died. All over the world, cars slowed down, bikes stopped rolling, and the streets grew quiet. Omsum had done it. He returned home a hero. One sunny morning, as Omsum stood in front of the mirror, he noticed his hair looking a little longer than usual. He didn't think much of it at first, but by lunchtime, his hair had already started to cover his ears. By evening, it had reached his shoulders. Amsam's hair just wouldn't stop growing. It kept getting longer and longer, no matter what he did. At first, Amsam thought it was funny. He imagined himself as a rock star with long, flowing hair. But soon, his hair started to get in the way. It fell over his eyes, it covered his mouth, making it tricky to eat, and it tickled his nose so much that he kept sneezing. Om Sum tried tying it up, but the hair kept growing so fast that the rubber bands snapped. He even tried wearing hats, but huh? his hair would spill out from under them like a waterfall. By the next day, Om Sum's hair was so long that it dragged behind him as he walked. At school, his friends couldn't see his face anymore. His teacher couldn't tell if he was paying attention. At lunchtime, his hair dipped into his food, making a big mess. No matter where he went, his hair followed like a long, silky tail. Om Sum soon realized that having hair that never stopped growing was not as fun as it sounded. His hair would get caught in doors and even trip him up when he ran. He started to worry that his hair might take over his entire house. As the days passed, Om Sum's hair kept growing and growing, wrapping around trees and fences outside his house. 